Hey everybody, it is Ed. Today's video, I wanted to look at some items that recently were auctioned off. Elvis Presley related, of course, and they were auctioned on Rockhurst Auctions. I don't know if you can see that, but it's rockhurstauctions.com. They do a whole bunch of different types of memorabilia, whether it be sports memorabilia, music-related entertainment, autographs, articles of clothing, records, whatever, you name it, pretty much, if it could be authenticated, it is being auctioned off. So I thought uh, it would be fun to go through some of the auction results of things that I have in my collection of Elvis memorabilia. Uh, some of the things you can see behind us and... Let's just dive into it. So, um, first thing I wanted to look at, which I thought was really cool, is 1958 Elvis Presley signed photo. Uh, he's playing piano on the USS Randall on his way to Germany. Apparently, it's uh, authenticated by Beckett. And I'm going to click on it. And this is what was auctioned off. 1958 Elvis Presley autograph. All right, now, um, this particular autograph, of course, I don't have a 1958 autograph. I have uh, 1969, uh, 1974, and oh, got to verify which what year that one is from. But this one had a minimum bid starting at $1,000, and the estimate was between two to $4,000, and it wound up selling for a total of 4600 so it went 600 above the estimate so there you go all right now going forward we're going to look at an Elvis Presley worn concert scarf and this was lot 1038 Elvis Presley stage worn scarf given to a fan from the stage May 27th 1976 in Bloomington includes photo of Elvis wearing the scarf on stage and there's 13 total photos. So here is the particular scarf. Looks like a navy blue. Don't believe there's a signature on there. And do, 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 do. now this was a minimum bid of $1,000, had an estimate of between $2,000 to $4,000. And the final price uh, was four thousand three hundred thirteen dollars for this particular scarf with the photos hope you're picking up that upstairs yes very nice but we will push on <laughs> all right going on with other things that i have in my collection that were up for auction now this particular item i don't appear to have in my collection unless it's something we didn't come across yet but I'm not holding my breath on this. This is a 1970 Elvis Presley show, Elvis Backstage Pass, extremely rare early version. And we can see here, it was from the collection of the one and only Bruce Jackson. And this particular pass, interestingly enough, we have a photo of uh, Elvis here with George Pizzito next to him and you can see Joe is clearly wearing this same type of badge. And see that the minimum bid for this was $400 initially. Then the estimate was between $800 to $1,000. What did it sell for, you ask? Huh, hold on to your hats, people. $4,313. That's right. You heard me. $4,313. Now, I do not have this particular pass. Wow, but if I did. Okay, now, going forward. Speaking of passes, we are now going to look at a particular pass that I do own. And this is the Elvis On Tour show member backstage pass. And this particular pass has the button on it. Mine does not. Mine was unused. Um, and this had a minimum bit of 150 The estimate was between three and 400 However, the final price was $230 for this particular badge. Now, there were two similar ones. But this one was the Now On Tour, the green. And this one I have, the Now On Tour, like pinkish, April 72. Actually, I have June 72. I believe I have... Boom, 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 boom. I forget. 
I gotta look. Man, can't see from here, but it's like a darker color. April 72, and then I have the pink, June 72. But these two particular ones uh, sold for $173. There you go. Okay, here's another item that I have in my collection. Uh, this happened to be from the collection of Bruce Jackson again. All right, but it is the Elvis in Concert guest artist, special guest artist button. And it is a different type of backing. My, you know, mine is the same one as this, but you know, than, than normal buttons, it's more of a clip on than an actual button. But, um, yeah, so we have this. So th this one had a minimum bid of $250, had an estimate between five and 700. However, final price was $460. Still pretty decent for a piece of, uh, metal that says Elvis in concert, special guest artist. Not bad. Not too shabby. All right, let us go on. Now, there's a bunch of other things. There's a bunch of Sun Records, some Elvis, some not Elvis from the collection of Marion Kai, uh, Kai, uh, oh God, how do you say your last name? Kaiser, I believe, from Sun Records from back in the day. Uh, some of those sold, some didn't. All right, but then what else do I have in my collection that was up for auction and sold? I'm looking, I'm looking. There's a couple more I'm thinking of. They're just not on this page. Hold on. It's getting there. Um, we also have the records that they were selling. Like I said, there was some RCA, uh, later pressings, early pressings, promos, things like that. But um, yeah, it's the Battle of the Coughs upstairs. I don't know if it's coming through. Okay, here it is, finally. All right, so here is something in my collection that stands out, and you'll see it actually right ooh, right here. It's the Stand E from 1973, the Aloha from Hawaii record. Uh, it was basically select record stores had that to promote the album. And here it is. Here it is in full display. Now, this one does have the, the uh, cardboard back to support it. Mine does not have that anymore. Um, oh, actually, yes. No, I'm sorry. Yes, it does. I just never folded it out. So I apologize. Never fold. So I, yeah, no, it does have it. We just never folded it back like that. But regardless. Um, so it's funny, too, because you notice that there is a patch job on the arm because the arm was very, very fragile and bent extremely easily. So what did this go for? The minimum bid was $100. The estimate was between two and 300. What did it finally sell for? There we go, peeps, $690. $690, beautiful, good going. All right, a couple of other things uh, that were up but did not sell. Um, boom. This particular poster that I do have and you see hanging right above the standee, right there. And this had a minimum bid of one, oh wait, 1976 and 77. No, I, I think this was earlier than that. I could be wrong, but I thought this was earlier. Okay, but anyway, uh, minimum bid was $100 and it was estimated to be about 200 however there were no bids on this so there you go but yeah so i just found it interesting that um certain things that i do have in my collection did show up in this particular auction of course they are not my particular things but again um same and interesting to see what the demand if any is for it and what they are going for but regardless here they are, and that's where they remain. So <laughs> that's that. Uh, but leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't usually bid on these auctions. I do get the emails regarding them, and I like to scope out and see what's up there and, you know, like I said, what they eventually go for. Uh, but again, just found this one curious because of the amount of things that I happen to have that coincided with them being auctioned off. So there you have it, all right? But I do appreciate you all watching. Like I said, if you would like, you can leave a comment and leave it at that. So 
good to yourselves, good to each other. Take care.